Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is merge strings alternately. In this question, we're given two strings, words one and words two, and our task is to merge the strings by adding letters in alternate order, starting with words one. So we need to add one letter from words one and then add one letter from words two. And if the string is longer than the other, append the additional letters onto the end of the merge string. And our task is to return the merge string. So let's take a look at these two examples and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same strings as example one. Words one is ABC and words two is PQR. We are going to start off by finding the length of the two strings. So the length of the first word is three and the length of the second word is also three. Since the length of the two words are same, there is no need to extract remaining characters. We can directly form our merge string, taking characters from the two words equally. So we start off with the first letter in both the words. So I'm going to use a string builder and then I'm going to convert the string builder into a string because the return type is a string. First, I'm going to append the first character from words one, which is A. And now I'm going to append the first character from words two, which is P. And in our next iteration, we're going to improve the pointers. Now again, extract the character from the pointer. In words one, it is B. In words two, it is Q. Now increment the pointers. Now extract the characters pointing at those pointers. And now we reach the end of the two strings. So we end our iteration and we have our answer inside the string builder. Now we have to convert the string builder into a string. So using the two string method, you convert the string builder into a string and we get this string as the output. So we return it as the output. Now let's take a look at example two. Now let's start off by finding out the lengths of the two strings. First word's length is two and second word's length is four. Now the two strings are not equal. So now we need to find the minimum length of the two strings. So minimum of the two strings is two, which is of word one. And now we know which one is the longer string according to the min. So using minimum, we can know which one is the shortest string and which one is the longest string. So you compare minimum with the two lengths. So this will be the shorter string and this will be the longer string. Now let's convert this words one and words two into character arrays so we can access the characters easy. And now using a for loop, we will iterate from zero until min. So min here is two so that we can access the characters equally from both string until min and then the remaining strings can be extracted from the longer string. So we point at zero in both the strings and now we create a string builder output and later we'll convert this into a string. So inside the string builder, we'll append the characters pointing at the two pointers. First from cars1, so A will be appended and next from cars2, so P will be appended. Now increment the two pointers. The two pointers are now pointing at first index. Append the first character from cars1, so it is B and append the character from cars2, it is Q. And now we finished our iteration until min. Now I is pointing at 2, so this condition will fail. And now in our result, we have characters from both the strings and we finished iterating through the shortest string. Now our task is to extract the remaining characters from the longer string. So the longer string is this and the remaining characters are these two. So we know that min is equal to two, right? So from the longer string, we can take our substring where the starting index will be min and there is no need to mention the ending index. If you don't mention the ending, ending index, it will take the substring till the end of the characters. So substring of two, so it will take substring till the end. So we have these two characters and we can append these two characters into our result. So R and S are also appended. And now we have our final answer inside the string builder. So using the two string method, convert this into a string. So this will be our final output, which is matching our expected output. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the string one and this is the string two. And our task is to return a string. So string is a return type. So this string will represent the merge string. First, I'm going to calculate the length of the two words and store it in two variables, len1 and len2. And now I'm going to find the minimum among the both, length1 and length2. And now let's declare a string, longer string, to find which is the longer string. Now we have the length of the minimum of two strings. So I'm going to compare this minimum of the two strings length with both the strings. So if minimum is equal to length1, then the longest string is equal to word2. If the minimum is length2, in the longest string is equal to word one. It makes sense, right? Now we know which is the longer among the two strings so that if the two strings are not of equal length, the remaining letters in the longer string will be appended at the end of the merge string. Now I'm converting the word one into a character array called cats one and converting the words two into a character array called cats two. And now I'm creating a string builder to store our result merge string. And then we can convert the string builder into a string using the two string method in the end. 
because the string is the return type. Now we have to start our iterations from i is equal to 0 that is the 0th index until the min. Min will give you the length of the shortest string. So we append whatever is present until the shortest string's length and the remaining characters from the longest string can be appended in the end outside the for loop. So inside this for loop I'm taking one character from the cars1 and next I'm taking one character from cars2. So this will happen until the length of the shortest string. Now we have a result until the shortest string's length. Now to extract the remaining characters in the longest string, I'm accessing the longest string and applying substring on it. So using the substring method, I'm going to start the substring from min's length and if there is no end index, it will take the substring till the end. And I'm appending the remaining characters from the longest string into the string builder and finally converting the string builder into a string because the return type is a string and returning it as the output. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. And your solution has been accepted. So our time complexity is O of n where n is the length of the shortest string and our space complexity is also O of n because we are using a string builder to store our answer. So in the space complexity n stands for the length of word 1 plus word 2 because our result is going to be of the length of words 1 plus words 2. That's it guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.